Okay, so welcome back to Scanning Networks. One of the nice things is, in this uh, video, we're going to be looking at scanning using InMap. And I know we've done that before in Kali, but now we're going to go ahead and do it again. It should be Module 3, Scanning InMap. And since we're in Windows, we actually have to install are in map. It's very similar to the one in Cali, however this one gives us a nice graphical user interface instead of just a command line. I installed all of the additional features with InMap, but this is what our graphical output's going to look like. So let's try to scan our entire network. An intent scan? Sure. Notice it does our command lit for us. And all you have to do is just give it time to, to start running. It will search for open ports. It will do all of our scanning for our ranges. It just it takes a few minutes, so be patient. Okay, so it took a little while, but I did get it. And it scanned for services, it scanned for individual hosts, their names, their addresses, their uh, MAC addresses. So pretty dang in depth. It found 1470, 128, which is my attacker. Two additional machines, so I should have a Windows Server 2012. Windows 7, Windows 7, and Windows 8. And then we could actually scroll in very slowly, apparently. That way we could actually see what hosts we have access to. specific host details, what ports are open, or are there filtered ports, are there closed ports, what is its address, what is, is its uh, operating system, found that this one really works very good for Windows 7, we can look at ports. And so that's just in map in a nutshell. When we first did it, we did a intent scan. We could do a ping scan or a regular scanner. We have different options. This is the type of tool that you want to play with to uh, get familiar with it. We could look at specific services as well. So, again, that's in-map for Windows in a nutshell. Thank you.